Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem range XOR queries taken from CSES. So the problem is pretty simple. You are given an integers and Q queries. Each query is of the type A comma P. That means you are given a range and you have to find the XOR sum of the given input range. Okay, so pretty simple, right? Uh, there are many ways to solve this problem. The easiest one, I believe, is using prefix sum. If you don't know what is prefix sum and how it works, I have already a lecture on that. So I'll be providing the uh, lecture details, lecture uh, link in the description of the video. Okay, so go through prefix sum if you have no idea. Otherwise, we are good to go. So suppose this was the input in, uh, input array. Okay, and we have qu query from four to six. So what we can do is that we can prepare a prefix XOR sum, right? Where uh, pre pre of i will store prefix sum of all integer from one to i. Okay, so the solution of this problem is simply the solution of this query is simply prefix of six xor with prefix of three right a uh, prefix of six will store prefix sum of all integer from uh, one to sixth element right and prefix of three will have the same thing right up to the third, third input uh and then if you exert them of course one will, ca uh, will cancel out one second element will cancel out second third will uh, cancel out third you'll you'll be left with four five six that's exactly what we want right so yeah this is how you solve this problem easiest right so this is the code uh and can be as large as 2 into 10 to the power 5 lli is long long in basically 64 bit integer so i have an array of uh, 2 into 10 to the power 5 now i'm reading the n and q and then input integer here i'm building the prefix prefix xor array after that there are q queries of type a and b simply printing ar of b xor with ar of a minus 1 right and that's your answer so yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and until the next video drops keep coding thank you